Hey everybody, how you living? Hope you're alive in living colors. This is Eric Lima here. You're watching another episode of EML77 TV episode 314, the final day of the Portuguese feast. As you can tell, as you can see by now, I just finally realized that with my new parking space I found, it's actually four blocks, four blocks away from the feast. So it's a lot better than going six or seven blocks or even 10 blocks from the feast parking at Market Basket. So, did a lot, did a lot of, uh, as Dashi would say, brain meats for this one. So, it's uh, it's been pretty good around here. And, uh, and if you may, may you see me, one of my main in the 80s Mario ball cap and get these hairs broad strobing. That's right. And one thing about the Portuguese feast, they know how to go out, go all out and do this. This is this is really, really great. great. Now, many people are asking, wondering, why, why do you go to the feast? Why is it that you go to the feast? Well, for one, it's part of my roots, my heritage, because I am half Portuguese. So, that's one. Um, two, I just go there for the good times. You know, I don't care about drinking Madeira wine. I don't care about the, you know, the food or the concerts, even though I may be getting a bit hungry. But, the big thing is, it's all about Having fun, being with family and friends, people who you love, and you get to meet new friends too. And that's the big thing. So, uh, so that's 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 what the big deal is for me. And everybody is here at the at the feast, um, getting ready to party and uh, getting to rock and roll. There's a parade later on, so I'll be taking pictures of the parade. And uh, hopefully, I can bunch up a lot of uh, uh, pics for for the feast to and remember my good times there. And that's the the main thing right now so uh, I'm entering the feast I'm um, just a left turn away from doing so like I said four blocks from the feast man four blocks and everybody is entering and uh, some people are departing and so so here we go so I am here I have arrived doing my thing and uh, hopefully now as I uh, <clears throat> Finish things off, and uh, I'm gonna go try to get my, get myself some uh, grub. So, so some serious feast grub. So, I will see you guys later. You guys have a wonderful uh, on the second chapter of episode 314, Badera Feast Sunday 2019 report. See ya. Bye. Hey guys, second chapter here of uh, episode 300 and. 14 of the Madeira Feast uh, report from Sunday, flat final day, August the 4th, 2019. There is a parade coming up. I'll be taking pictures from the uh, for the parade. So, got that going. I got my extra camera for that. And, uh, gonna have a little bit of fun, as you know. Uh, it is pretty hot, and uh, I did get, pick up myself up a, a, a little meal. And the grease sandwiches they sell here. Equal to regular size and voices, I can guarantee you that. As you can know, I'm listening to music, try to uh, you know, try to block out everything unless I see something muddy that I run into. Pac Man, Pac Man headphones. Yeah, I'm old school like that, so gotta keep it classic. You know what I mean? I'm listening to the 80s music on a regular Walkman, cassette Walkman, to be precise. And uh, I'm having a good time, it's pretty hot out here, and uh, it's going to be um, interesting to see what happens when we get back to reality tomorrow morning. So it's going to be uh, going to be a heck of a day. So I'll be seeing you guys later on the third chapter. And hopefully, uh, I'll probably be leaving here sooner than expected because obviously I got work tomorrow morning and I want to make sure I make it up, make it up for that. So uh, like I said, it took me four blocks to get here, and I'm here. So all right, I'll see you guys later. Have a good um, a good day. And if you ha if I have to run to you. Here at the feast, say hi. All right, bye. Hey guys, third chapter here at the Madeira Feast, August the 4th, 2019, New Bedford, Mass. I am here. I have arrived uh, once again with another report. The parade is over. It took a lot of great pictures. Uh, Y'all get to see get to see them. See them on my Facebook page. And I'll tell you what, it is hot out here. Let me tell you. Like I said, I'm not going to be here long. Um, it's about almost 3:30. Yep, it's about 3:30, and. Uh, as you can tell, I'm a little bit all burnt up. I'm going to get something to eat. And then possibly around 5.30, 6 o'clock, something like that, head home. 
because uh, I got work tomorrow. Back to reality after this. So it's uh, one of those things where you just whoa. Extreme close, extreme close up. Ah! Like Wayne Garth, you know. Wayne's will remember in that show. Yeah, it's a great time. Despite being hot, having a wonderful time, and uh, I've been running to a lot of folks that I haven't seen in quite a while, and uh, folks I've seen before. So I'm having um, a lot of fun, and I ran to the uh, Volk mascot. It seems like he's been watching my videos. Whoever he is, thanks a lot. <laughs> to the Volk, uh, Volk Tech mascot, shout out to you, my friend. Whoever you are. Don't even recognize your voice or anything, bro, but you know, he says you like my videos of wrestling, so I'll keep going on that. So it'll be a lot of fun. During the parade, so it's gonna be uh, having, a one, having a wonderful time here, and uh, I will see you on uh, the next episode of uh, next, not, next chapter, actually the fourth chapter of episode 314, Sunday Madeira Feast Final Report 2019, whatever I want to call it. I'll find out. If, yep, up, not a lot of shenanigans I'm up to. I'm just, I'm just here having a good time. All right, I'll see you. Bye. Guys, this is the fourth chapter of episode 314 of EML 77 TV. I'm here at the Madeira Feast, Portuguese Feast, August the 4th, 2019, Sunday, here in New Beige. And that's why like, that's what we call it here. Uh, New Bedford, Massachusetts, what's up? Uh, a lot of people here, everybody's starting to pile in. I'll probably be leaving here soon, about an hour or so. And uh, once uh, before I do that, I'm gonna go say goodbyes to my friends. Just gotta go and get back to reality. So I can upload this video, upload all these other videos and all that, and uh, I gotta tell you, it has been a wild ride. We had the we had the parade. It's over. I took a lot of pictures of the parade, a lot of selfies of of the crew, of a lot of feast selfies, feast selfies, man. I'm telling you, with some of my friends, and my fa some friends and fam, we're rocking and rolling to the top, baby. That's how I work things around here. That's how we do things around here. So I'm taking a walk around the Portuguese Feast. And we'll see what time is it. Only 5.18. And uh, a lot of people here. There is a lot of people here. And uh, and I better uh, shut things down and hopefully conclude it on the way out. The good news is only took me four blocks to get here. Much like the five, six, seven, or seven blocks. Possibly eight or nine, ten. Maybe exaggerating a little bit from Market Basket of here, so uh, we're doing this. So, uh, so we're talking one more, um, one more night. So the final night, final afternoon of the festival, of the feast, <laughs> whatever. I'm messing up on my words. I don't even. I didn't even drink it. Drink any alcoholic beverage for God's sake. So. A lot of people around here, friends, family, whatever. So I had a great time. So, uh, so I'll see you when I conclude on the fifth chapter. Okay, folks, it's the um, second to the final chapter. I'll wrap everything up. Is at home? See them clouds up ahead there? See them clouds? That's right. Lightning is coming, and I don't mean the element from Bullseye either. I'm talking about real lightning, thunderstorms. They're heading this way. Heard? From Fall River, from Southeast, has been reported. So I'm heading back to the car. I'm in, done for the feast. I was going to leave at 6 6 30, but uh, the weather had other other plans. So, so everybody is, uh, so the parades are over. To me, to me, the feast is over again. Back to reality. Getting everything done. Yeah, it's back to reality for me, my friends. And uh, it has been a crazy moment. It's been an awesome time at the feast. And uh, I'm going to try to um, head back to the feast. I mean, head back to the feast. Head back to my car. Like I said, it's four blocks away. So I've used up two of the four blocks already. So everybody's trying to find parking spaces and whatnot. And walking back to their cars. Me, I'm going to try to head back. Them clouds don't look good, man. They don't look good at all. You know, I'm not weather piper. The name of the so I'll do my best to do impression of him. The weather pipe of the Thunder Boomer should come in the Maria Deluge. Very angry. Very angry. Because we always drink too much uh, the Madeira wine. 
that's the thing. So, I didn't drink any of the Madeira wine. I had some soda. So uh, I only got one measly ticket left. I'm going to keep it as a souvenir for the uh, feast. Um, and uh, here it is. Measly ticket for the feast. Right here. And uh, oh, it's starting, bro. It's starting. Uh, there. It's starting. I can feel a few drop drops already. A few drops, bro. A few drops. Park near Coffin Avenue. Yep. That's when the Undertaker lives. <laughs> That's a funny joke. Anyways, <laughs> uh, I'm bad with jokes today. But however, I'm going to give a shout out to Josh Lima. No relation. Uh, Taylor Cormier. Um, Joey Palatroni and, and his wife Lauren. Holly McGovern. Nick Santer. Uh, thank you for seeing me and having a good time. Shane, Lima, Lauren Tenzi, thank you very much for coming out and giving me some, showing me some love. I appreciate that. And to those who I missed at the feast, oh, Rachel Dean, too. Uh, to those who I missed at the feast, I apologize. I didn't see you there. Hopefully, I'll do it next year. Oh, I got a phone call. See ya. Bye. All right, I apologize for that, you nutcases. That was my dad. He was to make sure he asked me where I parked. So I told him at the abandoned 7 Eleven. So. Yeah, they have a whole flood warning ahead. So I said, "Don't worry, Dad. I see them clouds. I see them clouds, man. When I see them clouds, I know I'm heading the heck out of here." Um, this is the old school sunbeam bread I'm walking by. See this building here? The old school sunbeam bread. Unbelievable, right? <laughs> I'm just going there a couple of times. Then I went about like three times, I believe, for field trips. They twice with ramen. Or twice with the Vol School when I was a youngin. I'll tell you what, this is crazy. I'm telling you. This is nuts. So I am heading back. I told my father, I'm heading home. I was going to stay there at 6, 6.30. I'm only four blocks away. But unfortunately, but unfortunately, uh-uh. I'm heading home. I am so heading home, it's not even funny no more. So, sorry about that. So what I'm gonna do, before more battery, oh crap, I thought I can go through here, but I can't. So, what I'm going to do is, uh, head back to my car. Oh, I'm getting tired. Ate two linguista sandwiches. Um, one for lunch, one for supper. I drank a lot of soda too, so I'm a little bit hyped up. So, I'm gonna get me some Gatorade to really quench my thirst and then do some more grocery shopping tomorrow after work. Yeah, it's back to reality. Even the Thunder Boomers would say so. It's crazy. So, uh, oh, good Lord. Good Lord. Hey, Evil Knievel. Hey, Evil Knievel. Hello, Evil Knievel. <laughs> Being a silly. So, uh, I'm done here. And, uh, I'll conclude this video back home. Bye. Hey guys, I'm back from the feast. Um, I was gonna plan to say stay um, stay till to six six thirty, but as you can tell, and for those of my local friends out there, know that it is pouring out there. And I got to my car just in time. And just as soon as I crossed Sawyer Street, I ended up um, it ended up pouring. And I was gonna go to the gas Costas gas station to get me some of this. I'm thirsty. I decided, well, well, I'll go to Quick Pick and get some. And I got some, but by the time I got there, whoosh, it was pouring. I'm telling you. So of all my local buddies who were still at the feast, guys, get an umbrella or get under under some protection, please. You want to catch the cold the next day. Goodness sakes. Whew. I mean, I'm used to peeing out in this weather, but, you know, but this is ridiculous, you know, because, because I do, um, yeah, I do, uh, um, oh, excuse me. I do pick up trash at the mall as everybody, as every troll was making jokes about it and whatnot, but still. Um, as you can tell, uh, I'm drenched. I got soaked, man. It was crazy. <laughs> I'm going down my family, I'm going down my street, and it's like, ah, pause. It's like driving in the blizzard. Only the summer version is like a lot of tropical downpour, for God's sakes. I mean, I came to, I'm, I'm not like Weather Piva, you know, all the Thunder Boomish and the Lucky Charm Leprechaun and all that good stuff, man. It was crazy. But, alright, overall, 
I enjoyed my time at the feast. I went to a lot of wonderful friends there, wonderful people. Ate, uh, uh, ate an authentic linguisa sandwich. One for lunch, one for dinner. Got some, had some soda. I'm a little bit hyped up, and now I'm, you know, I'm so thirsty. I had to pick up a couple of bottles of these for God's sake. Gatorade. My goodness. So, uh, and I'm trying to charge up my phone. That way I can get going. Um, doing uh, so I can get going uploading pics, uploading videos, and uh, and whatnot. Let's see what. Oh, that was pretty funny. Big man chose you. That was going. That was pretty funny. So, uh, so I just, uh, uh, uh yeah, uh, it's just nuts, man. It is just totally out there, man. It's just, woo, ah, oh, man, just, uh, it's just crazy out there. It's just nuts. I'm telling you, raining hard here in the beige. And I read the, I, I read on my phone, and I report, oh crap, Fall River, report a thunderstorm. Oh my God! I, you know, when I saw them clouds, I said I'm heading back to my car, four blocks away from the feast, Coffin Avenue, four blocks away, Coffin Avenue, a cushion, um, a cushion Ave, Coffin and a cushion. Ave. That's where I was, man. It was crazy. I'm home now. Whew. Well, that's it. So that's the news of the Portuguese fist. But I had a great time. We had lots. I have lots of pictures on my. I'm going to be posting them on Facebook pretty soon. Lots of parade pictures and all that. I'm really excited. It was a wonderful time. Wonderful lot of people out there. Yeah, it was great. So I had a great time. It's gonna be. It was so exciting. Ah. Uh, now, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, judging from my work uniform that I put out um, earlier this morning, actually, yeah, before, yeah, it is back to reality tomorrow. Back to the doldrums that is the Dartmouth Mall. Back to the, to the grind. Back into the heat. Wearing pants at work for your uniform. And in the heat and sweat. Again, aggravated by mall walkers and everything else in between. <laughs> uh, but but the good news is only five hours a day, and I have next weekend off. SummerSlam is coming. NXT Takeover Toronto is coming. There's going to be some picks and predictions on that pretty soon. Then I got to continue also creating. Super Mario Maker 2 levels, man, so I can do a little get these thumbs and we'll get it on like Donkey Kong. So, <laughs> so if you want to know any of the shenanigans that have been happening at the feast, um, I will be uploading uh, bits and pieces of vid uh, videos of that. A little crazy. Get out of hand. <laughs> so I had a wonderful time. I had a great time at the feast, seriously. And just, you know, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't miss this for the world. I'll be glad to do it again next week, next week, next year. Oh, good lord, <laughs> my brain is not functioning right. Oh, I do apologize. You know, I realize I'm not perfect. I've never been perfect, man. Just disregard. So um, the only sucky thing in August I have to look for, that I have to look forward to. I'm not looking forward to it, but anyways, this is jury duty. If they don't choose me, wonderful, great. I can have, spend the rest of the day off going, life is cool. Until the winter time comes around, unless I get a new job. Anyways, so uh, that's it. That's all the time we have on the show. Um, the conclusion of the Portuguese Feast Sunday Report of 2019. I want to uh, thank all my friends that were, were there making a feast, a great, wonderful feast. All the performers, the feast committee to put it together, and I'm really excited to say peace out. All right, I'll see you guys later. Uh, God's life, love, light, and blessings to all of you. Catch you on the flip side. And remember, pay attention. You might learn something. And hopefully, hopefully, uh, um, hopefully, next time you see me, go to my friend Brandon Martin's channel, because the Joker's Wild Tournament of Champions Finals will be me versus Alex Hool. It's my second time in the finals of, the, of, the, of a Joker's Wild Tournament. My first one, I did win. 
um, I don't know, I forgot who I defeated to get to be the champion in the turn the, of the tournament champions. I know Brandon Scrubs was the host, and uh, the two out of three, uh, two out of three uh, uh, games a match. Whoever wins the match wins the whole thing. So this will be a great battle. I'm looking forward to it. Until then, see you later. Pay attention, you might learn something. All right? See ya. Toast to you guys out there. And uh, peace.